right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to talk about this off-roof next mesh sub-ohm tank. There are, man, there's all sorts of opinions all over the place about this tank. There's some reviewers out there saying that this is, you know, God, just the best sub-ohm tank, the best mesh sub-ohm tank that's ever existed. You have some other reviewers out there saying the complete opposite of that. So... I figured I'd just throw my two cents in there, maybe take a little bit more of a, a rational kind, kind of approach to this sub-ohm tank. I received my uh, off-roof next mesh sub-ohm tank a few months ago. It's honestly been like two and a half months and I've been using it. It's honestly, I kind of view it as one of the more reliable sub-ohm tanks I've used in recent memory, even considering that Vupu matte tank that I really, really enjoyed. I've been using this same coil head for a, about a month. I mean, not regularly, regularly, like every day, daily banger use, but I've been using it for about uh, two months, this tank for two months, this particular coil head for about a month, and uh, dang, I, I don't know, I've had zero issues with it, zero fit and finish issues, zero leaking issues with it. I've found it to be uh, overall a real nice vape. It's not flawless, but it's overall a real nice vape. When the airflow's full open, it's it's nice and swooshy. It's not real smooth, smooth, but it's real nice and swooshy. The flavor's fine. These mesh coil heads have what they call a conical design to them. And, and we're going to get all into this. I want to show you from scratch how we're going to set one up. I got my off-roof next mesh sub-ohm tank kind of just sitting right over here and I figure we'll just uh, we'll just open it up. There's been a lot of talk on the internet. I've seen comments on certain people's particular videos who shall remain nameless. People were talking about, oh, well, the, le the reason that it leaks is, you know, O-rings, sometimes O-rings fall off and maybe that's why yours was leaking. I watched Jay Hayes leak all over himself and then he threw it against a brick wall and the glass didn't break, which I thought was I don't know, even if it did leak, having a glass that doesn't break kind of might be worth the price of admission. So here we go. This is the off-roof next mesh sub-ohm tank. I'm just going to pop this open. You get some literature, you get some stickers, and then you get this little information card right here that does kind of show you like the conical shape of these of these coil heads in here. It's like, a, it's like I don't know, I can't think of any other way to explain it. It's just conical in shape. You get uh, one spare coil head right here, and then let's get this tank out of here. Boosh, there's your tank. And it's like, I don't know, I, I really like the aesthetic, the overall look of this tank. I prefer it with the straight glass, but I don't mind it with the bubble glass. All the fit and finish on it, it's real nice too. The bottom unscrews kind of like, uh, Inakin does this sometimes. That matte tank from Vupu did this same exact thing where the base comes off. The coil head can kind of pull out of the bottom like this and slides back in. Very similar, very similar to that Vupu matte tank. When you look at these coil heads, you can't really see any sort of like the conical design to them. The conical design seems to be a little bit more exaggerated in the literature than it is in the actual coil head. Looking down into this coil head kind of just looks like a regular, regular old coil head to me. But there's two. There's this one. There's this coil head in here as well. They're both single strip of mesh coil heads. The blue O-rings are gonna be the 0.15. The black O-rings are supposed to be, it should say on here, yeah, it should, 0.2 right there. So I'm just gonna set it up. I'm gonna set it up with the straight glass and this does break down completely so that you can you know easily clean it the glass comes off this all breaks down for easy cleaning and rinsing the way that you fill it is on here and it's maybe difficult to see because it's the black but there's a little arrow right here that you're gonna uh, slide slide that up you have a juice fill hole or sorry 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 liquid fill hole right here. In fact, they even included a little hole inside the drip tip for the air to escape when you're filling it, which just thank you, Ofra. Thank you, Ofra, for including that. It makes the juice filling, or sorry, 
liquid filling process just so, so, so much easier. So I'm just gonna take some of this jungle juice. I know, it's got the J word in it, but it's a delicious flavor that I plan on uh, vaping right now. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this coil head I'm just gonna put some liquid in here. You can just saturate this cotton in here. The way that these are shaped, you have that big hole, that big space in the middle. I just put my juice nozzle down in there and kind of paint the inside of the mesh. Just give it a little squeeze and pull it out and just get it nice and saturated in there. Maybe put a little on these guys. You don't really need to do that. You can make sure both your O-rings intact, upper O-ring, lower O-ring, make sure those O-rings are intact and this just boop slides into the base. It's not a satisfying snap or pop or anything, but you can feel those O-rings kind of engage and it kind of seats down in there. Glass goes on here and it does come with a bubble glass, but I kind of want to use the straight glass. I've been rocking this rainbow one with the bubble glass for so long that I, I want to, I don't know, I just want to try it with the straight glass. I just want to see how it goes. Don't judge me, okay? This gets screwed together and then I guess we got to put this base back on here. There's your AFC on the bottom and like I said, it's not particularly smooth or anything like that, but it does feel, it does feel even, it does feel swooshy, if not just a little bit turbulent, but we're going to talk about the way it vapes once we're done filling this tank up. But you can see right there, there's your AFC. It doesn't click or anything, but it stops at full open, stops at full closed. And when it stops at full open, that's what allows you to, you know, get that grip and kind of unscrew it. But what we're going to do right now is look for that little, little arrow along the top boop, right there. Slide this over. It's very, very firm. That slide is a stiff solid slide. When you slide it back, it's whoo, it's tough. When you slide it back, it's mmm, it's firm. It feels nice, feels nice and secure, honestly. This one has a one of those little covers that go over it that kind of split through the middle. You just kind of pop your bottle tip down in there, squeeze, squeeze and fill and squeeze and fill i wrote that song and then yeah that's all really there is to it we primed up the uh coil head we're gonna let this sit for maybe just i don't know five minutes or so and uh we'll, we'll come back and vape it All right, I feel like that's more than enough wicking. I saw some bubbles happening. I gave it what I call dry toots, where you kind of just take a drag on it, but don't press the button. Don't even don't even put your finger anywhere near the button. Just don't even look at don't even look at the button. Just do this. You can turn the airflow completely off and do the same thing. And what that's going to do is pull, start kind of pulling the liquid into that coil head, get it where it needs to be in order to be vaporized. <laughs> yeah, airflow, it's fine. It's big and swooshy. It's just not very smooth. And it tends to get the harder that you drag on it. It does tend to feel not necessarily turbulent, but certainly what I would call sharp, which I know I have, I don't know, I use dumb words to describe airflow spongy yeah i've said that in the past i don't know i would just describe it as sharp it feels sharp it feels the opposite of smooth it feels it feels sharp this was the 0.2 coil head it came out to a 0.22 which is you know fine not so far crazy off or anything like that got it sitting rather at 70 watts let's just let's just do it stab in the dark let's just have a pull on it Yeah, vapes, awesome. Uh, very dense, very flavorful, rich vapor. The flavor on it's real nice. I mean, it's a single strip of mesh, so it's gonna vape like a single strip of mesh would, which is to say it, it vapes real nice. It's not necessarily like the flavor machine that a dual core or a triple core mesh coil head will give you, but this jungle juice, I just remember this so fondly. It tastes exactly as I remember it. I've been saving this bottle, I don't know, for no real reason, I guess just for today, for the Off-Roof Next Mesh Sub-Ohm Tank. 
In fact, this 0.22, this could use some more wattage going through it. 70 watts ain't cutting it. We're going to put this up to, I don't know, 75 watts? Let's get, let's get dangerous. There's nothing dangerous about, there's nothing dangerous about turning a 0.22 up to 75 watts on a regulated mod with a mesh sub-ohm tank. Nice. Real nice, real nice, real flavorful, feels dense, feels saturated, no leaking, nice fit and finish. I like the coil head. I, I don't know if I'm necessarily getting like so much better, like noticeably better of a vape with that conical mesh design in there. It's vaping real well. Is it vaping like leaps and bounds better than other sub ohm tanks that don't have the conical mesh in there? Uh, not really, no, but it is vaping real nice. Like I said, up to, up the point up to this video and including this video, I kind of saw this off riff next mesh sub ohm tank as just real reliable. I just found it to be real, real reliable, real consistent flavor after flavor, really good clouds after clouds, no leaking. I don't know. I've been having a real fantastic time with it. Now let's get over to the interweb here and let's see. Let's see if we're gonna need our vape budget hands. All right, well, there you go. A 25 millimeter tank, the Offruff Next Mesh sub ohm tank clocks in at about $34, clicking around the internet. So not like crazy vape budget hands. I personally don't feel like $34 is in the cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it out. But if you're looking for a new sub ohm tank, which I know there are literally hundreds and hundreds of them out there hunt more more than hundreds and hundreds of them out there to choose from there's some great sub ohm tanks out there and i'm just going to kind of file this in that list of like what i feel are pretty good reliable real nice vaping sub ohm tanks it's been great Sure. Got a four mil capacity here with the straight glass. That's gonna give you a six mil capacity with that bubble glass. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably just use the bubble glass. And uh, you know, as you saw on the Jay Hayes video, he threw it against a brick wall. It cracked like maybe a little after repeated, repeated throwings and fallings and throwings and fallings, and it never shattered. Which I don't know. That's I feel like that's a really great, great thing. I feel like the off roof next mesh sub ohm tank. Glass is, uh, glass is durable. Glass ain't breaking, boy. So yeah, that's enough rambling for me. I guess if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they have come and taken everything I have and I have nothing to vape with, including no sub-ohm tanks, is this off of next mesh sub-ohm tank something I would seek out and buy right away? I don't know. I don't really have a ranking of like sub-ohm tanks that I consider to be like the best or the worst. I guess before this, I would probably seek out maybe the Horizon Tech Falcon King, like that in recent memory has been one of the better sub ohm tank. And I've been using that Valerian 2 sub ohm tank as well that also vapes very similarly. Anyway, this, that's too much. That's too much rambling. This video is too long. Anyway, that's what I got for today. Maybe a little bit more reasonable look at the off roof next mesh sub ohm tank. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo, but thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit that like button. Feel free to hit the bell notification from YouTube, although I'm not sure that that actually does anything at all. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Yeah, no matter what's in your hand, let's keep on vaping.